Uh oh. Yo. <laughs> Yo. Joy Reed, definitely from Philly, man. Philly in the house. Joy Reed. Joy from the block, man. God damn, that's one. Woo. Let's see what she talking about, man. This election is no longer about the old guy that's in the White House now. Like, you know, all the op-ed pay pages and the New York Times can run around and, and opine about, you know, what Joe Biden should do. And, you know, y'all have fun with that. Enjoy yourselves, intellectual thought leaders. I no longer care. Doesn't matter to me anymore. It you need to get that too fixed, man. You need some veneers, Joy. You need some veneers, man. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? And they got the, you don't have to get your, your teeth filed down now, man. They got the joints. You just pop them joints right in, man. You need some veneers, baby. You got that one tooth, man. That one loose tooth. Hold on, where is that? <laughs> God, Look at that loose tooth, man. That rolled tooth, man. That tooth, that tooth doing his own thing, man. God damn it, man. That's a me, me. That's a me, me tooth, man. That tooth, that tooth don't want to, um, that tooth don't want to be a team player, man. God, dog, man. Yo, man. Yeah, man. She looked like, it looked like somebody standing in front of a liquor store. Hey, boss, man. When you come out, if you could help me out, man, I appreciate it. She looked like, man, she looked like she work on cars, man. She looked like she had, she had changed your brakes in 30 minutes. God, dog, man. Damn. She looked like an African soccer player, man. God damn, man. That tooth, man. That tooth a problem, man. That's a problem tooth, man. That's a problem tooth, man. That tooth is a problem. That tooth going to be a problem, man. It's so many things that that tooth could be problematic. Don't they like using the word problematic? I got one. That tooth is problematic, man. <laughs> Golly, man. That tooth will give you nightmares, man. God damn. Damn, baby. All that time on TV, all that money you made, and you ain't get them teeth fixed, man. You could at least got that one fixed, man. I'd have went and got that one fixed. I'd have been like, I'd have donated that to science, man. Yeah, she got a British smile, man. Yeah, oh.
That's one rough looking broad, man. I ain't gonna lie, man. That's a problem tooth, man. All my fellas know what I'm talking about, man. That's a problem tooth, man. That tooth out of there, man. <laughs> Give me that tooth, Joy. <laughs> For your husband's sake, man. Get that tooth up out of there, man. <laughs> God, oh man. God, oh man. Shout out to Boy Kachin. He said, intersectionality, street takeover party, and where cars drift into all type of people in the intersection. <laughs> Hey, uh, nation of our nation and nations. Yeah, I don't think that's what they mean by intersectionality, but it should be. Ah, right, man, that's one rough looking broad, man. I ain't gonna lie to you, Jack. Oops, intellectual thought leaders. I no longer care. Oh, man. Hold on, man. Where that, where that, did that joke just keep it hopped out? It hopped out at one point. Hold on. All the op-ed page. Oh, there you go. That's where it hopped out. It hopped out right in. You know, all no. the op-ed pay, pay, pay. Ah, I almost caught it, man. <laughs> Yo, Joy, man. Now I can't unsee that, man. Now it's going to be like your that tooth is that tooth is going to stick, going to go outshine you now. That tooth is the star, man. That tooth gonna get invited to the um, Met Gala, man. <laughs> and say, uh, yeah, yeah, Joy Reed's bottom tooth is, is nominated for an Emmy, man. <laughs> Damn. Damn, baby. God damn, man. You better not. If you kill somebody, you better not eat nothing. Where at the? At the <laughs> you better not eat nothing at the site of the crime, man. If you kill somebody, Joy, don't eat nothing there, man. Don't bite into nothing. They will. <laughs> And like, who did this? We have no idea who did this murder. But there's a hamburger sitting over there. Send it to forensics. Have them make a mold of that sandwich. They'll come back and be like, They will come back, man, be like, only one person could have bitten to the sandwich. There's only one person on this planet that could have bitten to the sandwich. They'd be like, but it could have been anybody. No, no, no. It's only one person could have bitten this sandwich. I think we found our murderer. Uh, oh man! <laughs> let me let me hear what she gotta say, man. Go ahead, Joy, man. Yeah, if you could talk like this, man, can you be a ventriloquist, man? 
Somebody teach Joy how to ventriloquy, man. So she can learn how to talk with her mouth shut, man. This election is no longer about the old guy that's in the White House now. Like, you know, all the op-ed pages and the New York Times can run around and, and opine about, you know, what Joe Biden should do. And, you know, y'all have fun with that. Enjoy yourselves, intellectual thought leaders. I no longer care. Doesn't matter to me anymore. It's above me now. It's above me now. There's a Waffle House next door. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's a Waffle House next door, all right. <laughs> Could you imagine if she eat too fast and accidentally bite her tongue? <laughs> Unfortunately, Joy Reid won't be with us for about a year to six months to a year. She's out with a had a freak accident the other day. <laughs> Joy had a freak accident the other day at Pizza Hut. I, while out with her family, Joy was involved in a terrible accident. <laughs> doesn't matter to me anymore it's above me now it's above me now there's a waffle house next door there's a best western next door as well it's above me now it's above joe biden now don't care about joe biden's yeah best west ain't nobody taking you to best western <laughs> once they see that ain't nobody taking you to best western she you won't be slicing and dicing me man Hell with that, man. Doesn't matter to me anymore. It's above me now. It's above me now. There's a Waffle House next door. There's a Best Western next door as well. It's above me now. It's above Joe Biden now. Don't care about Joe Biden's age, infirmity, that he shuffled when he walked. I don't care. He could be seated for the rest of from now to Election Day and never get up off a chair. He could sit down. He could roll around in a, in a wheelchair. He could be on a skateboard, seated. I don't care. <laughs> they so evil, man. She trying to um she trying to uh minimize his his shortcomings by saying it doesn't even matter, man. We just got not that Trump in, man. I don't care if he I don't care if he can't even I don't care if Joe Biden They trying to they trying to sell that like it don't matter. None of that matters now because Trump. It doesn't matter. Nothing matters as long as we get as long as we keep Trump out. Meanwhile, she got a. Meanwhile, she got a tooth in her mouth, man. That tooth, that tooth is just. That tooth wa always wanted to be the star. Joy, that tooth was always jealous of Joy, man. <laughs> that tooth was like, I should have been the star. Every time Joy tried to. Every time Joy has a great um, accomplishment or a great career milestone, that tooth tries to steal the show. Damn, man. God damn that motherfucking tooth, man. Roll around in a, in a wheelchair. He could be on a skateboard, seated. I don't care. Donald John Trump cannot be allowed back into the White House because if you combine that madman with this court, 
two of whose members are insurrectionists who flew, one of whom flew an upside down flag like at his home. I'm sorry, Joy, babe. I'm sorry, Joy. I'm sorry, Joy. I ain't the, the tooth, the tooth one, man. Your tooth one, man. I and listen, man. Look, man. You've had a great career, man. And you've accomplished a lot, man. You know what I'm saying? And and listen, man. This is no slight on you, man. You've done a you've accomplished a lot, man. But your tooth, man, your tooth, that tooth, that tooth is we we wanna we wanna hear from that tooth, man. We wanna we I wanna know what that tooth thinks about Joe Biden, man, and uh Donald Trump and presidential immunity, man. I want to know what that tooth thinks about this, man. And listen, man, don't get me wrong, man. You had a great career, man, and I hate to push you to the side like this, man. And trust me, it's not because the tooth's white, man. <laughs> don't say that, man. We 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 don't favor the tooth just because it's white, man. <laughs> you know, this is not racial, man. The tooth could have been any color, man. It looked like you got a couple of tooth in there that you could look like you got a couple of teeth of color in there anyway, man. But it's not because of the, the tooth is white, man. The tooth could have been any color, man. It's just the tooth just it just it just stands out so much, man. It's just got it's just got that it factor, man. That tooth got got that it factor, man. With this court, two of whose members are insurrectionists who flew, one of whom flew an upside down flag at his home and blamed it on his wife, who's also crazy. The other of whom's wife literally was part of the insurrection. And they ruled in this. They, they put themselves in the Leonard Leo Six. They went ahead and, and ruled on this with no shame. You combine this court, two of whose members are going to immediately resign and put 30 year olds in there, including probably the guy who wrote the opinion in the beaters case, meaning that beaters should be able to get machine guns, which by the way, they have now arrogated to themselves the power to decide all federal rules, everything, whether your plane that you fly in is safe, how much carbon can be in the atmosphere, how much filth can be in your water. They, they said agencies that have experts can't decide that, they will decide that. So they are kings and Trump is king. You put him in the White House, combined with this court and a Republican House and Senate, we're done y'all, all the rights that were won in the 20th century, the hard-earned rights of women, uh, laborers, workers, the rights of, of ch children. Remember, child labor used to be legal. The rights of black folks, forget that. The rights of non-white immigrants, forget that. All of the 20th century, they are trying to, they are trying to repeal the entire 20th century and they're doing it fast. Between them and these crazy Republican governors, they are repealing the American century, the 20th century, because they don't like it and they want back the 19th century. The century when the century when people were where people with teeth like yours was normal, man. <laughs> yeah, man. That you 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 got teeth. You 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 got teeth from a a, a bygone era, man. <laughs> Your teeth are from a a time from long ago, man. I don't know how they let you on TV with that tooth like that, man. <laughs> Shame on MSNBC, man. Shame on them, man. Shame on them, man. You can tell she ain't got no friends, man. If she had a friend, man, they'd be like, hey, man. <laughs> Yo. 18th century. The century when super rich white men unchecked and untaxed amassed great wealth passed it down with no taxation to their descendants and pretended that they had earned it on their own that they were just masters of the universe they want that era back they think that the 20th century was an abomination and they are dismantling it they're coming for every single one of our rights they're not done 
they're not done. If you love having your freedom, having the freedom for contraception, LGBTQ rights, that's going too. If you don't think they're... Freedom of... Uh... To choose your dentist. <laughs> the freedom to choose your dentist, man. They're coming for Obergefell. If you don't think they're coming for all these rights, then you are delusional. They're coming for all of it. They're dismantling the 20th century. They are repealing the 20th century. This ain't about Joe Biden anymore, y'all. It ain't about his policies. There are a lot of them I disagree with. There's a lot of them I disagree with deeply, deeply, morally. But it's not, it's above me now. It's above him now. He cannot allow Republicans to control. Yo, she fear mongering like shit, man. She a fear monger, man. She, she ain't got no shame either, man. She think people, she, she, she really think the people she talking to are stupid, man. You can tell, man. She fear mongering look like some little kids and man. This is the type of stuff you tell some kids, man, at a sleepover. All right, man, everybody got to go to sleep tonight, man. It's time to go to sleep. Anybody who, anybody who not in their pajamas going to get eaten by Mr. Booga Booga. Mr. Booga Booga, he eats little kids who don't have their pajamas on and don't brush their teeth. Did you brush your teeth, Billy? No. Come on, Billy, hurry up. Let's go get your pajamas and brush your teeth. Because Mr. Booga Booga, man, he going to get you if you don't get in your pajamas and brush your teeth. Think they're coming for all these rights? Then you are delusional. They're coming for all of it. They're dismantling the 20th century. They are repealing the 20th century. This ain't about Joe Biden anymore, y'all. It ain't about his policies. There are a lot of them I disagree with. There's a lot of them I disagree with deeply, deeply, morally. But it's not, it's above me now. It's above him now. You cannot allow Republicans to control the White House, the House, and the Senate, and the Supreme Court, and all of these states. You're now voting for your life. You must vote. Listen to Taraji P. Henson, y'all. Project 2025. They've now just implemented it from the court. You don't. Yeah, man. Listen to Taraji B. Henson, man. If you were having trouble figuring out who to vote for, man, all you got to do is listen to Taraji B. Henson, man. What's wrong with y'all, man? Y'all, yeah. I don't know what's wrong with y'all, man. I'm here trying to figure out who you got to vote for when all you had to do was listen to Taraji B. Henson. That shit is crazy, man. That's the first thing I did, man. Once, once I was, cause I was kind of, I was kind of him and hard, man. I was like, I was kind of, I was a little bit, um, I was a little bit um, undecided, man, about who I was gonna vote for, man. First thing I said, man, let me go see what Taraji P Henson is talking about, man. After, and then listen, man. I made the mistake of consulting Ja Rule first, man. I consulted Ja Rule first. But then I then I came I came to and it was like, damn, what am I doing consulting Ja Rule, man? I need to go see what Taraji B. Henson talking about, man. Listen to Taraji P. Henson, y'all. Project 2025. They've now just implemented it from the court. You don't even need it now. If you have this court, plus Trump, plus the House, plus the Senate, plus all these states, y'all better vote for your lives in November. I'm gone. Y'all be good. And God, good. And God, good. She, she gonna vote God, too. She crazy, man. Uh-oh. Go ahead, Taraji. <laughs> With your broke ass. <laughs> Taraji, broke as hell, man. <laughs> You're a broke ass, man.